Good afternoon, class. I want to welcome back to you. Our revision, our topic for today's revision, factors affecting location of industries. That is the word, factors of industrial locations. Factors of industrial location. Now, in the course of this topic, we're going to discuss on the word, the meaning of those factors that determine or that determine the location of industries in respect of the location. Now, we have what many factors, and that is the word, many factors are considered before the industrial industries are located in any area. These factors are one, proximity to the source of raw materials. Proximity here, we are talking about the closeness to the source of raw material. Closeness in the terms of there are some of these industrial industries in terms of what specialization, such as crude oil, cement industry, or perishable industry like tomato. One, because of what the nature of this word raw material to convey them from the industry from the word location to the word industries industrial location it will what it will claim him a huge amount of money and sometimes it's not that because they are bulky raw materials to locate them is not the issue to transport them and to reduce what the cost so also they are now oriented the words to locate their own industries or industries close to the raw materials. And that's one of the major things to consider. Two, nearness to the world, the market. Nearness to the market in the sense that their own is to consider that is to say what the market ready for the products of these industries. The market ready for the what? Consumption of these what products. That is that. Then so also we have a nearness to the world source of power. Nearness to the source of power, such like electricity. That is to say what? Nearness to the source of power is another thing to be considered. Is it available? Is it always what ready? So that is another what major factor to be considered in terms of industrial location. Four, we have availability of capital. Availability of capital in the sense that there is no any industry that can operate, that can have a full operation without words capital. And that is where there is money to manage the words process and so on to the words to the finishing and so also the words to the distribution of what these products from one location to another. And so also five we have availability of labor. Availability of labor can be at the same as availability, availability of cheap labor or cheap service. To be considered that where they want to locate their industries, are there was available labors in terms of skill labor, semi-skill labors, and what have you. And that is tell you that for any industry to operate, to function effectively, they must put all these words, factors to be what consideration. So also we have what's adequate transport network. Adequate transport network, meaning that they have to consider that now we want to establish an industry. What is the what's the problem with the present road network within that locality? Are they going to use their money? So now if there are good road network, it means that it will bring about what? It will minimize the costs of their running what's industry and maximize their profits. That we did know that with this adequate transport network, it will attract industrial location compared to where there is a poor road network. Seven, we have political instability. That was stable government. Political instability. Political stability. That is the same as what stable government. Now, in a place whereby there is always what political crisis, civil unrest, it will what discourage. Industrial location. But wherever there is what a stable government, it will attract industrial location. 
Lastly, we have the government policies. That is to say, what exactly is the what the policy of the government concerning the industrial activities? If it is favorable, to attract. If it's not favorable, then it means that they will relocate or they will change their mind in citing their industry. And that is why we are talking about factors affecting location of industry or industrial location. Now, from this, in the course of this explanation, we understand that these factors is general irrespective of the location, irrespective of the country. Anywhere we find ourselves in a different part of the country, these are what? General or universal factors affecting the location of industry. So, with this understanding, I have an assignment, and this is the assignment question. Briefly explain any two factors that have aided the location of textile industries in the northern part of Nigeria. That is to say, just explain according to your own understanding on how these factors have equally what be of help, have attracted the location of textile industry in the northern part of the country. Have a wonderful day.